Welcome back. It's time for the Air Canada cross country check in. Let's begin with Liberal leadership candidate Mark Garneau's challenge. He wants to know if fellow candidate Justin Trudeau has what it takes. Let's go one on one with Mark Garneau right now as he gets set, hopefully, to go one on one with Justin Trudeau. Hello, Mr. Garneau. Hello, Anita. All right. I understand you are in Ottawa at the airport. You're heading what to London and Hamilton today? That's right. I'm going to the Ivy Business School to uh, talk with students uh, about the economy. All right. But you also want to have uh, a timely chat with your uh, your friend, or should I say rival, Justin Trudeau. This was a sleepy Monday morning, and you really came out all guns blazing. What's going on here? Well, he is my friend, and uh, he's also my rival. And I've been saying for months that uh, if the Liberal Party is going to get it right, and we absolutely have to get it right in choosing our next leader, then it's extremely important that all of the candidates, including Justin, come out and tell Canadians what they're offering them. And uh, that hasn't happened. We seem to be uh, moving towards uh, a kind of a coronation. I have absolutely no apologies to make for saying, look, it's important that we hear from all the candidates. And uh, one way to do it is for Justin and I to have a good long debate, and people will see. I think good long debate, uh, that's an apt adjective you're using there, because uh, for those of us who tuned in to the last debate, yeah, we finally got a debate, and you and uh, Mr. Trudeau did face off at the top. But what? That was like 30 seconds, 30 seconds to a minute. Trudeau is now out on Twitter, our favorite uh, social media uh, site, saying that uh, he heeds your call, but he'll see you at the next debate in, uh, in Halifax. Here's a tweet now. I respect all the candidates for LPC leader. See you in Halifax, Mark. I hear there are one-on-ones. Smiley face with a wink there. Uh, are you winking back? What's going on here? We want to see more than just a minute, right? Well, what happened last time was that uh, at the third debate uh, last Saturday was that I had a total of three minutes. That's yeah. allowing him to talk and me to talk. And I was just getting warmed up. I had a ton more questions to ask him about, and I'm sure he had some questions for me. So the format is really not uh, allowing a really in-depth debate, and that's why I'm asking for this debate. And I don't think that next uh, Saturday in Halifax it will be good, and uh, it'll, it'll probably show the candidates some more. But I'm not convinced that it's going to allow us to see the candidates in depth. Is it just going to be another opportunity for folks to, to drool over Justin Trudeau? Is that, is that what we're going to see this weekend? Well, I mean, you know, every candidate has to uh, sell themselves. They have to appear uh, credible. They have to uh, answer the questions well. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it still stays at the, at the level of generalities, and, and, and it, it may still remain, uh, you know, uh, superficial. And yet we need to know very much more about the person that uh, we, we may be planning to uh, elect as our new leader. I'm doing this for the Liberal Party. The Liberal Party made a mistake last time of selecting a leader uh, without asking some difficult Morning. questions. Hi, so it's important we do it this time. Four, All right. I think that's the airport uh, calling behind you there. I got to ask you, uh, insofar as this challenge that you've made against uh, Justin Trudeau, it is quite timely, and you said it this morning. Look, if he can't face off against Liberal candidates, it's only going to get worse when he faces off, if he faces off against the Prime Minister. Well, that's it. You know, uh, on the 15th of April, after we choose our new leader, uh, the real battle begins. And, uh, you know, if, uh, if, uh, if we uh, choose a leader who is up to standing up to Mr. Harper and, in fact, uh, bettering him, then we'll be in good shape. But, uh, yes, the real, the real big job is going to start on, on, and it's like entering into a gladiator ring against uh, Stephen Harper. So we really have to be ready for that. All right. And April's pretty much uh, D-Day, right? That's when you have your uh, your election. Uh, indeed. Uh, on the 14th of April yep. is the day we choose our new leader. All right. And you're ramping up ahead of that. All right. Thank you so much for your time today, Mr. Garneau. I know you're getting set for your flight, so we appreciate you uh, carving out some time for us. Good luck. You're welcome, Anita. Bye-bye. All right. That is Liberal Leadership Candidate Mark Garneau joining us from the Ottawa Airport. How about that?